Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? This is Ahmed from CodeRub. Actually, in the previous video, I've already installed Apache Server. We have made, uh, we have made sure that's uh, up and running. We have tested it from the browser, tested it using Python, even using curl. So um, we're more than sure now it's functional. So uh, in this video, we're going to be actually putting our hands on how to on the configuration files and how to we uh, how can we create new files or new sites actually. So uh, for this, I'm just going to be starting with the status of the Apache server that's on our machine. Uh -huh, status 2, okay. So as you can see, uh, I have my uh, Apache server up and running, it's active. So uh, first thing, we need to change our directory to the etc Apache. And now let's just print the content on the long format. Okay, so as you can see, we here we have some uh, folders. Uh, as you can see, we have sites available and enabled, mods available and enabled, and conf available and enabled. So what is the difference actually between an enable and an available? So the simple, uh, the, like the difference is simple, okay? So the difference is, the available is like, you have, for example, in our case, this sites available. Inside this folder, we have some sites, we have some configurations of some websites, but only some of them are enabled. Maybe you have this configuration, but you like you want to disable the site for now. You don't want anyone to access. Maybe you're doing maintenance or for whatever reason. Okay, so this is the same thing for uh, mods and configuration. Like you have some configurations or we have some modules that you already have, but you're disabling them or you're not using them. So this is actually the difference between available and enable. We're gonna be uh, touching this on the site parts because uh, in this video especially we're going to be focusing on the site available and enabled and the ports got configuration also okay so let's actually now change our direction to sites available let's see what's there as you can see we have two files let's actually start with the second file this one let's print the content of it so as you can see this file by itself it's not a website it's not uh, one of the running websites it's just a configuration of how uh, these websites are kind of uh, configured so we're not going to be working with this file uh, we're going to be using the other one okay cat oh uh, well let's just open it in cat or maybe maybe no no it's going to be better without sudo we're not going to be editing it so it's called uh, this file uh, it's as you can see it's showing it's it's unwritable because i didn't use sudo but it doesn't matter we're not going to be editing it anyway so uh, as you can see at the first line here we have virtual host what is a virtual host as you can see we're running a virtual machine right and inside a virtual machine you can have have more than one host so for each host for example you have a specific website but all these websites all these hosts are on the same server okay so uh this that means that we are listening to any ip address because a machine like e like or a host or a server can have more than one IP address so we're listening to all of them but on the 80 port number 80 this is the port from which we're going to be responding okay so uh, about server.admin we're going to be talking about it later uh, document should this is uh, the directory from which we load the index HTML page the error the error log is where we uh, log our errors for example any error happened on the server side we print it there and the custom log is actually related with the uh, authentication and authorization. For example, if we have kind of uh, some errors that are related with the authentication of some user, for uh, like the user doesn't exist, like these kind of errors will be logged on this file. Okay, but we're gonna be uh, going deep on this topic later on another video, maybe the next one. Okay, so this all for this file. Let's close it. Now to create actually uh, a new website, all we have to do is just copy this file and make like uh, just some modifications on it. Okay, so let's start by we're going to be using sudo because um, this actually directory it's uh, on the roots uh, only can be changed by the root user. So I'm gonna, just going to copy this file and I'm going to create here a new file. For example, like example um, org dot com. This is my new website, okay? Uh, let me actually create one more because we're gonna be using two. And this one, com.config. So now let's edit one of them. Mm -mm -mm. Nano, hello, example, org. So what are we gonna be changing? First of all, this is the direction from which we serve the 
the main website okay so I'm gonna change this HTML to example example uh, this one is org so let me call this org for example you can call it whatever you want what matters is that this directory exists it does not exist right now but we're gonna be creating it later on and here I'm gonna uh, implement this line which is server name this is the name uh, from to which we're gonna connect to our server by identifying this name as you can see what is an IP address like an IP address can point to a different hosts and each host is just this name okay so but I'm gonna just make one change which I'm, I'm gonna make this uh, org and hit save and for the other file I'm gonna um, oops this is typo so here I'm gonna do the same thing but instead of uh, it's at or it's already .com, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this and here I'm gonna type example example uh, underscore com and let me move this slash here we don't need it now I'm gonna hit control s control x now I've created two configuration files as you can see the example com and example org uh, before now, now actually you remember we had uh, the enabled sites right so let's actually uh, change our directory to this one oh, whoops now let's change the directory to sites enabled and let's ah, okay already uh, we didn't see the we list okay now let's print the content as you can see we only have one file uh, and as you can see the the color of this file is different you know like these these ones are blue these are folders the white ones are like regular files but this one is kind of like uh, what do they call it like light blue maybe so let me just print the it in the long form as you can see here it specifies L which stands for link uh, I actually have a different video talking about soft links and hard links but we're not gonna be talking about this now but in short this file it's not the file itself it's just a pointer to another file okay but where is like where is this file to which we are pointing to as you can see two dots mean to go to uh, uh, a directory above and then go to sites available and then our uh, zero default config file okay so as you can see we only have one site configured we want to configure also the other two sites which is example com and example org so to do so we're going to be using the command a a2 which is apache2 with the en which is enabled we can also use disable to disable uh, sites or configurations or whatever uh, but i'm going to be using enable and if we just tap you can see we only have three things that we can enable configs mods and sites and if you remember somewhere we had in the top like uh, i oh, here it is actually uh, modules enabled and configs enabled and sites enabled so we can actually enable these three things or disable them okay so in our case we're going to be disable, uh, enabling a site and by default it searches in the uh in the site site available directory so we're not there but it automatically detects uh, these files so i'm gonna um, do it in the same line to enable both of them i'm gonna hit a star which is like kind of like a regex thing okay um we need sudo to make these changes and as you can see these two sites are now enabled and it tells us that we have to reload the apache why is that because we have changed configurations of the apache right we have change the configurations that are loaded in the memory because once the server starts it loads its files on the memory and just works with them instead of just always calling them from the hard disk okay so the configurations files on the memory are now like kind of old they're not updated with the changes that we have made so we have to reload it okay so just to reload we just use the command that it told us to use we can actually use restart instead of reload but Reload is kind of like more smooth, more easy because it, it restart is like stopping the service and just running it again. But we don't have to do so. It's enough to just read the configuration file, re, uh, reread them. So okay, Apache, Apache to service. It asks for the password because I didn't use sudo. And now let's make sure I didn't break anything. And as you can see, it's up and running. Uh, 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 as you can see, it's actually showing us an error because that these directories that, that does not exist. Because I told them, because uh, uh, as I told you, uh, we have to create them. Okay, but I actually I forgot. So let's do it. It's not a big deal. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's first change our directory to this one. War w. As you can see here, we only have the HTML. So let's make two new two new directories. Exam example underscore org and example underscore 
Acom. Now hit enter, permission denied. Okay. Now if we actually uh, reload the server and now print the status, we should not get this error now. As you can see, uh, the server has been reloaded. This is uh, like the reloading and reloaded uh, messages. This means everything is working. These are our old messages. Okay. So now uh, what I have to do is, well, <coughs> let's create these folders. Now we have to like create an index HTML file inside of them. But we've already have the uh, we already have the one in HTML. So I'm just gonna copy it and edit it. Example org or whatever. We can actually I believe you can use the syntax. I'm not sure. Maybe it will throw an error. So let's hit enter. Permission denied. Sudo. Sudo. Example that come uh, meeting. Maybe we. I'm not sure this actually might not work, but let's actually see the content of the example org. Uh huh. It's actually copied it. It actually copied. Uh, one second. Example that org has an example that come inside of it. Ah, uh, I've kind of messed it up now. Okay, let me just fix this fast. Let me just fix that fast. Okay. Um, let me just make sure that this is the file. Mm -hmm. Now let's remove this directory. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's just mm -hmm. and it's called the example. Let's remove this one. And I believe it's the same on the uh, on example.com. Ah, we didn't copy there. Ah, it didn't copy there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in short, let me now copy it. Ah, okay, let me just do it again. Uh, index HTML, and we are copying it to example.com, I believe, this time. Hit enter. Now, actually, let's print all the content. I'm going to use R4 recursive. And as you can see, we have three folders. In the example.com, we have index.html. In our uh, uh, example, we have index.html. And in HTML, we have index.html. So, what's left is just to edit these, uh, the content of these three files, of these two files, actually. We're not going to be touching this one. This is the old one, if you remember uh, from the previous video. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is just editing these two files, okay? So let's go do that. Uh, example, org, and this is HTML. What all I'm going to be changing is like hello world from um, from org, for example. Let's just close this tag. And the same thing for com. Okay, from com. Control S, Control Save, and Control S to close. Now, what we have to do, uh, we don't have to actually reload, but just in case we can do so. Okay, system CDL, reload Apache service. Ask for the password. Now it's reloaded. Now, Let's go on the client side now and try to make a curl to our server. We should get our old page. Okay, what's well, not auto completing? Weird. Server. Ah, okay, whatever. So this is actually our old page. Hello world from Apache 2. Now I want to make a request on the example.org that we have created. Example. Example.org. Now let's hit enter. And as you can see, it's actually showing another page than the one we've created. If we try to do the same with com, it turns a different page, but it's the same as the one that has shown us above. Uh, why is that? Because by default, our like our client machine does not know uh, where to search for this site, like this example.org, where is it? Okay. So by default, it searches for this file at the following directory, which is ADC hosts. I didn't write a command here. As you can see here, we don't have any kind of uh, IP address bended to these uh, two sites, which is example.com and example.org. So if it doesn't find it here, it searches on the websites, like on the internet. Okay. So if I open this browser, example.com, uh, 
we get this page and if you do example org we get actually the same page but but these are not our pages right so to do so all we have to do is just edit this file and uh, this is actually the IP address of the server okay so all you have to do is just add it here example.com so when we type this domain it's gonna search in this file first and if you don't find it it's gonna search on the DNS server okay but we already have it locally so I'm gonna type example.com and example.org control s control save now let me just clear this and give it another try now we're gonna make a request on the example.com and as you can see now okay didn't actually send us the uh, the other page what about that org ah it didn't actually show us the uh, the other pages <laughs> interesting well why is that uh-huh I get now why is that because actually if you remember we have specified the www dot I believe on this one uh-huh okay it's not the one that I expected maybe I have made a mistake there mm -mm -mm. not there actually let's just change the directory to etc Apache like Apache 2 uh, let's now go for sites available and let's now check the content of this file so yep I've actually specified that here the three W's and on the client side when I edited the host file I didn't write these W's but you know for practices uh, for practice purposes here I'm gonna actually add a service Elias uh, what is the service Elias it's just a different name that points to the same uh, server so I'm just gonna use the start so it's like anything that matches the following pattern so I'm gonna write uh, 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 example like dot example dot com so this also should point to the same file to the same uh, directory and I'm gonna do the same with the org one and here I'm gonna add server alias uh, anything anything that matches with example dot org now we have to reload the server uh, yep yes we have to reload the server because we have actually made changes on the configuration files so reload Apache to service let's make sure it didn't, we didn't break anything uh, status yeah, everything is up and running and everything is working so now let's give it another try I wish now it works so now we give it a try uh-huh it shows us actually the old page and on the uh, what was it? it was the com yeah and it's showing us this page maybe then we have to edit the uh, file itself uh, on the host side so uh, etc and now um, hosts sudo nano and here we can just add the three w's so now uh, let's give it another try now it's showing us from org and if we remove this and type com it shows us from com so we have out now made our requests on our uh, two websites that we have deployed right now and uh, it actually doesn't matter I believe it didn't work uh, because we didn't specify them on the um, on this file from the beginning so when it, it didn't find these uh, like uh, when it searched for that www.example.com here on the like on the host file it didn't find it so it didn't respond to it so it just went to the DNS right away okay so this why it actually didn't work so actually this is all for this video thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one